Hey folks, moving right along. So I'm going to show you how I grow over 150 varieties of fruit on a normal city lot. This is my pear tree. It's on four line. It's a sprawlyard. What's nice about palms is that you don't need a huge tree dropping a bunch of fruit for the animals. You just need a section or two. You want to grow it out, taste a variety of fruits. Let it spur up. This one has a uh, Comus Magnus, Verblau, and you has Shapova, some Seckles coming on. His Maxi Euro, it's a nice looking pair. It's a hybrid. I found the best way to grow these is to leave them alone. Come look at them, graft them, see what's going on. But other than that, just leave them alone. But I do like to come out here every morning to the yards, walk them, look for anything that's showing its ugly face. Like this little bit of ugly right here. We just had some rain. I wanted to see what was going on. Found this guy. So this little bit of nasty would get cut out this morning since I get done with this video. It's already sapping up. See that right there? It starts spreading. This up here is looking more like wind damage. Just want to keep encouraging the spurs. I cut back all these uh, growth spurts. We had a lot of water this year, over 20 inches. It's a high chill year. We had over 1,500 hours of chill. But everything's doing great, including these weeds. This first year I didn't spray, first year I didn't clean it out. I let all the weeds grow. And I'm really liking it. It's a lot less maintenance. Trees like it. Gives them some uh, cover from the sun. But yeah, walk your yards. Take care of problems when you see them. So this is my pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe this is a 10 in one pair. I'll update it later in the year. Take it easy.